While walking in a residential area around midnight, Redditor 07 Sunny 10 hears this mysterious sound. What kind of sound is that? So weird. And it's rhythmic. <laughs> He says it sounds like those extraterrestrial tripods from the movie War of the Worlds. <laughs> the Redditor wonders what could be making this noise. Redditors in the comments have their theories. What could be making such noise? <laughs> Is it a sky trumpet, steel pipe on concrete, or something extraterrestrial? To me, the soundscape seems to come straight from outer space. You've probably caught a fish with a worm before, but have you ever caught a worm with a fish? TikToker Tight Lines AUS shares this creepy video of a terrifying creature called a beach worm. Take a look. No, 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 no. New fear unlocked. Many in the comments are horrified by this thing. Personally, I'm never going to the beach again. After hearing noises at the back of their property, these homeowners spotted something they can't unsee. TikToker Elkakoi.tv shares this horrifying video. The figure looks human but crouched over and doesn't appear to be wearing clothes. What is it? Is it a rake? Extraterrestrials? A demon? My money is on a golem. Or is it simply a human on something? Either way, I'd be investing in some security cameras. A Pontiana was believed to be captured on an amateur video recording on Indonesian national news in April of 2023. Redditor Tony Way 1992 shares the creepy catch. See if you can spot her. The creature is seen at the end of this parking garage. Well, some are screaming fake, this looks all too real to me. And to make matters creepier, the Redditor notes that the footage was being taken as people were rushing out of the mall due to a fire. Considering these circumstances, if this is not a Pontiana, I think it's definitely still a ghost. Do you ever feel like someone is watching you? But once you realize it's too late, that's what happened to TikTok user Adrian Montenegro02 while at the waterfalls of Avenida, Mexico. <laughs> Did you see it? Here it is again, zoomed in this time. They said they never noticed it in person and that it wasn't seen until they watched the video back. Whatever this thing is, I get a bad feeling from it. And if I were them, I'd stay as far away from that swing as possible. Something has been locked up in this room for six years. See if it moves. Oh, <gasps> okay, hold on, hold on. Give me the lighter. 
TikToker MJ Majestic 85 and their crew return for the first time, and this happens. Oh, my back's burning. <laughs> Is it really? Bitch, my back's yes, burning. Right. <laughs> oh my god! Stop! No, get out! The scratch marks are intense. It looks like something in there got very provoked, but many in the comments are crying fake. Get out, 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 marks up your back. Stop. No, you can't stop. You're giving me anxiety. Oh my. You're kidding, right? You're No. I can see that being true. The angle of the scratches appears to be drawn upward and to the right, just as they would if you scratched yourself. My bag's burning. Oh my god! No, you're kidding. Stop. But I also think it's possible that something's here. Why else would they seal the room shut for years? This may be the best unidentified flying object footage ever captured on camera, at least according to Redditor FL1P1. The Redditor writes that pilot Jorge Ortega caught this well up in the air. Judge for yourself. What in the heck was that? Some in the comments think this is a balloon. Others think it's an unknown extraterrestrial aircraft. Like many are saying, I think it could be a stationary balloon that appears to be moving due to the aircraft moving, but I don't think this video is conclusive either way. I'm not sure it's the best unidentified flying object footage, but it certainly is intriguing. Are zombies real? Redditor Coyote Basic poses this question to the Reddit community alongside this video. <laughs> I don't know if this could even be considered a zombie. It is absolutely disgusting though. The feet are still moving while the body appears sliced clean in half, but some aren't buying it. Well, I agree that this looks unrealistic. I don't know how this was done, and I could do without the French onion soup reference. I think I gotta throw up now. A neighbor's door camera captured what Redditor Ancient Conference 39 believes is a real ghost sighting. See for yourself. A semi-transparent figure drifts across the street. Prior to this capture, another neighbor said that a couple of weeks prior, they saw the ghost of a girl standing in front of a van. Redditors have theories as to who or what it could be. All jokes aside, many think this is just a case of a bad security camera with slow shutter speed or the usual suggestion, a bug, but coupled with the other strange events and sightings in the area, I'd be keen to believe too. Have you seen the horror movie A Savannah Haunting? Kalani Ghost Hunter stayed inside the home that this horror film is based on and was filmed in. Check the place out. While live streaming their stay, 
The Instagrammer captured this image, which they think is a little girl ghost. Do you see it? Although I didn't catch the live stream, some in the comments did, and they insist they saw the ghost girl move. Almost everyone in the comments sees it, but I can hardly make it out. Still, I don't doubt this place is haunted. It looks like the real deal. This woman is so unfazed by ghosts that she simply swats them away like flies. TikToker Elga P. Official shares this strange video. Keep an eye on the white object at the edge of the couch. Not funny. I don't have a mood today. This time, watch the curtain. To me, this video goes to show that you really can live with a haunting, although it may be a bit annoying. After the alarm went off at their cafe, Redditor ODHB went to check the CCTV footage. This is what they found. A dark figure moves into the corner and shortly after, races across the room. The figure doesn't seem tall. Compare it to the table nearby. It looks like it's crawling on all fours. Some of the comments think it's a cat or a dog. They even say they see four legs. But the figure seen briefly at the beginning of the video looks much taller. Could it be an animal climbing in from the window, jumping down and then scurrying past? That would be my logical explanation. But even if it's not, I think we can rule out a bug on this one. Have you ever come across something strange on Google Earth? YouTube channel Find Unique World shares this oddity that they stumbled upon under the sea. What is this sea monster? It looks like a big lumpy shark with dull teeth. I don't think anyone can tell us for sure what this is, but I do know one thing. I'm never swimming again. What colony of creatures lives in this murky body of water? TikToker Jean Della Peste shares this video of a kayaker enjoying a row. All is well until this happens. Something swims right up close to his kayak, only to splash away, leaving us none the wiser as to what might be causing the chaos. And the craziest thing is the chorus of splashing that follows in the distance. Are these sirens, as many in the comments suggest? Maybe. All I know is, I wouldn't be setting foot in this water ever again. If your workplace was this haunted, you'd never get bored. Shared by Kaisa Kahidupan, this video is trending in the Indonesian-speaking YouTube community. The original videos were uploaded on TikTok by user 699-745-099-4005. The two-parter begins with some workplace shenanigans. You guys. Haunted ER. What about? We're gonna go. No. Haunted ER. Haunted. 
As they arrive at the allegedly haunted ER, they start feeling nervous. Nervous. You nervous? Why are you nervous? Because it's haunted. <laughs> but are they really just scaring themselves? Oh, <laughs> that was evil. You knew what you did there. <laughs> they enter, and one of the crew sees something. Chloe just spooked herself. What? Oh. It's this creepy doll. They continue on and find one room with lights on, so they enter to investigate. Oh! 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 The curtain moved! No, it yeah, it did! It moved! Oh, it moved! It moved! Yes, it did! It did! Move? How did you not see that? Oh, oh okay! Oh my god! Oh! This is the hospital's old ER, which is why it's so empty. Or maybe the reason it's so empty is because it's haunted. I'll need a trip to the ER after witnessing this, because that made my heart stop. Captured on camera in Wiltshire in 1989 and shared by Redditor Dex Meets Dexter, this footage filmed by John Wabe shows two mysterious flying objects creating what appears to be crop circles. Crop circles form below the strange white objects. Watch again. Is this real? Are we seeing these mysterious extraterrestrial signals being formed before our very eyes? According to many in the comments, this video is a known hoax that was debunked years ago. This still doesn't stop some people from believing this is real though. I'm convinced it's a fake, but a pretty compelling one at that. For some reason, there's nothing scarier than a grown human crawling. Currently trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community, this video was shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah. The footage captures an uncanny humanoid figure in a dark room at the end of the hall. Get ready to hide in the comments. That thing looks like Gollum on steroids. Would you survive this heart attack? Don't worry, you don't have to. This video is an animation. Its original source is artist, Max Verheyen. I've got to admit, I'm impressed with his skills, but with the nightmares this is going to give me, I wish I'd never seen them. Blink and you might miss it. Shared by Redditor Dreadlock, this is one of the most compelling UAP videos captured by Homeland Security in Puerto Rico. The flying object is first seen traveling quickly over land. Keeping the object in its sights, the camera captures it as it dips down into the water, entering and exiting without seeming to lose any speed. After a time, it splits into two, each drifting away from the other. What is this thing? Ah. 
The experts can't even pin down what this thing is, so I don't think we'll ever know for sure. But yeah, it feels pretty extraterrestrial to me. Check your door. There might be someone hiding just around the corner. TikToker Do You Believe 2 shares this video of what looks like a figure lurking right outside their front door. On the other side of the frosted window panes, someone or something appears to be crouched down. Even the dogs are on high alert. And then, it just disappears. What the f***? Too scared to open my door. Watch that again. The way it disappears is beyond creepy. It doesn't look to me like the figure moved out of the way, but rather like it melted. Many in the comments are as perplexed as I am. What the I have no idea what this thing is. My only advice would be, do not open that door. You don't want to give that thing an opening. In an overnight stay at this haunted house, the resident of this house addresses the spirit that haunts the place. The YouTube team Paranormal Nightmare TV series is there to pay witness, and it's more like an interrogation than an interview. Does that mean a yes? Satanic. Oh, what do you mean, Satanic? It seems like her and the spirits aren't getting along. Are you trying to come after me? Leave. I'm not leaving! This is my home! I live here now, not you! We'll see how that goes over with the ghost. Outside, the team feels its wrath. Oh, 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 no. Jesus. Me running. There was a huge fucking black shadow right next to the fucking window. I looked over and there was a huge fucking black shadow right there next to the fucking window. Here it is again from another angle. Oh, and back inside, the spirit is spelling it out for them loud and clear. Dead. This is my place. This is not your home! This is mine! I don't think this ghost is going to leave their house. And it seems to me the message is it's willing to take the life of the home's resident over it. Is this a werewolf? A cryptid? Or something else? Redditor Twist of Fate 666 shares this creepy video of a mysterious creature in the darkness. Watch closely and tell me what you think. I think I'd run for the hills if I saw this in my backyard, but Redditors have many different takes. It looks like a demon at this angle, but still others think it's something natural. Is this an elephant or a four-legged stilt Halloween costume, as some Redditors are suggesting? Or, like the uploader thinks, could this be a werewolf? There are so many options that I feel I'm leaving this guessing game with more questions than answers. An unidentified flying object was caught on camera during a lightning storm in Miami, Florida. Redditor Bacon Tire shares the video, originally posted to TikTok by The Hall Family 2018. Dude. Over here, come here. Look right above the trees. Come here, Keelan. Right above the trees. What? Dude, what is that? That is not a plane either. It's not. At first, it appears that the unidentified flying object is not moving, but then it does this. Oh, dude. Did you see how fast it just went? There it is. Dude, yeah, I got. Did you see how fast that thing just went? 
That, that is a UFO. Dude! Where did it go? Is this an extraterrestrial spacecraft waiting out the storm? Some believe that its sudden disappearance is due to cloaking. Others are skeptical of the footage, saying the acting is too poor to be believed. Dude, what is that? That is not a plane either. It's not moving. Oh my gosh, dude. Me neither. Is this credible or is this a clickbait and switch? I'm leaning towards staged on this one, but I want to believe. We all wish for signs from our dearly departed loved ones. Is this one of them? Redditor Snoo Bunnies 2725 shares footage of an illuminated floating ball in the home of his wife's recently deceased father. Take a look. What do you think this is? Redditors in the comments suggest the usual suspects. The glowing light ascends but reappears shortly after. Then it appears to descend into the box where it rests. While I agree with many Redditors who say this looks like a spider, I can understand those mourning a loss might wish for any connection with their loved ones. And I do hope that's exactly what this is. Duendes invade homes and carry out mischief to scare those within. TikToker MacGyverBox shares this video of one of these very spirit creatures caught on camera. Is that really a duende? It honestly looks like a full-size human to me, only in miniature. Is this just a trick of the eyes based on perspective? I think it might be, but it could also be a duende searching for a home to torment. Vea, muchacho, vea, lo que no creen en los duendes, vea. Vean un duende, vea. Un duende, un duende, me acabo de de aparecer acá en la Gran Colombiana. Ay, fue this fish has a magic trick for you. TikToker Mr. Illusions shared this video of a mysterious fish that seems to poof, disappear. Some in the comments say this is a ghost sea snake. Others say it's a siphonophore, or a colony of parts known as zoids. After seeing a photo of the thing, I think it could very well be. But if it is, how it manages to break apart and create that smoke-like effect is the real mystery. Something is watching you. Redditor Marcus Jana is exploring an abandoned tunnel under a school when they capture this on camera. Watch closely as they turn around the corner. Something gray vanishes as the Redditor approaches. Take another look. What is that?
The Redditor also notes that the corner leads to a dead end. I definitely see something there, a figure, and I have no idea what it is. So I guess without further evidence, this investigation has also led to a dead end. What happens when you're marked by the devil? We're about to find out. YouTuber Lindsay of Phantomette joins forces with the fam to investigate this haunted abbey. During an Estee session, Lindsay mentions the wind and the REM pod starts going off. And the last time somebody was in here. Then, a moment later, this happens. The fam explains what happened. As soon as you said there was a gust or a wind, that thing started going off. And then you said something else. And I felt like something like, I felt like something like grabbed me back there. When they examine him, they see the mark of the devil. Do you see, hold this. Do you see anything on my back? You have three deep scratches. Are you serious? Oh, Wait. There's three, you're like, there's blood. He was scratched, but by what? I think by something that doesn't want him here. The benefit of viewing a live stream is that you may just spot something that was not meant to be seen. Shared by Doc Tops, this scary video is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The original source is YouTuber J-Rob, who is live streaming with his crew when this happened. Watch behind Chris D in the bottom left screen. In the goes where you never really know, so I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? I just personally. Oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that <laughs> wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. Right, I got time for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost on screen? It's Junebug who saw the figure move past behind him, but Chris says he's alone. Watch again. I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? Was it a ghost? Chris tests the theory by walking past the same way. Oh, no. Hey, Chris, please, bro, you somebody, ain't got no care. Somebody, please cut that back. Oh, somebody please cut that back and clip it. In the darkness, his figure blurs as he walks past, very similarly to the ghost. Was someone in the house with him without his knowledge? Or is this real, uncut ghost footage? Chris later said he felt a chill as the figure walked past. Do you think this is real? I think this spirit desperately wanted to make its immortal cameo. I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? I just personally. Oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that Junebug. wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. Right, I got time for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost on screen? Are you convinced this is a ghost captured at 2 a.m. on Reddit or Mermaids Have Wi Fi's friend's grandparents' ring camera? This one has me guessing. The semi-transparent figure passes by, walking slowly across the front lawn. Its upper half seems to disappear as it continues past. Some think it's just a camera glitch, others think it's concerning. Take a closer look and see for yourself. The Redditor doesn't believe this is a ghost. Her friend is convinced it is, and she wanted to disprove it with Reddit's help. Are these Reddit comments convincing enough? I've got to admit, this does look like a slow shutter speed situation creating ghosting artifacts. But frankly, if I were these homeowners, I'd rather this be a ghost than an actual human on my property. An unidentified flying object is reputed to have landed at this abandoned church, and YouTuber Luan Mendez is here with his team to to investigate. The team finds a cross lying randomly in the grass. Olha o tamanho dessa cruz aqui, irmão. Agora que eu vi. Olha aqui o tamanho da cruz. Ah, pega. Derrubaram ela. É. 
and inside they find a burn pit that looks like someone or something camped out in here. Passar uma noite, ó pra você ver, fizeram a fogueira aqui, ó. Fizeram a fogueira. Ó a cruz, quebraram a cruz aqui, ó. One of the team alerts Luan to some lights outside. When he goes out to check, beams of lights are spotted in the distance. Aonde, Papa Capim? Papa Capim, apaga a sua luz, mano. Pode apagar, vamos ficar no escuro, irmão. Porque essa, senão vai sumir. Oxi! Oi, 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 Papa Capim, sai daí, Papa Capim! Sai daí, Papa Capim! And then it just disappears. Are the extraterrestrials watching? It makes me wonder. Ó, oh, se vê alguma luz, se apaga. Apaga a luz, bateria, aquela lá. Apaga, apaga, apaga. Meu Deus do céu, olha lá. Olha lá. Vem, vem, vem. Vem, vem. Vem. And it also makes me wonder why this place has been deemed so important by the extraterrestrials that they seem to be monitoring it. Is it a spiritual site for them too? Only the extraterrestrials know for sure. This old house features a resident ghost. When the YouTube team Dark Mystic enters, a mysterious sound is heard. <laughs> And once inside, a door shuts on its own. Diman, tu vi dal dvir zakrilas. As they begin to speak with the spirits, a steady cam captures this in another room. Is something trying to get in? I'm not sure, but something is definitely trying to get out of this wardrobe. Later, they hear something drop in the other room, and the steady cam captures it. And shortly after, another object is thrown. While the first one perhaps could have just fallen, in my opinion, this one was undeniably thrown across the room. Along with the wardrobe malfunction, the level of paranormal activity here is off the chart. Closed down for good in 1987, the untold terrors that happened at Penhurst Asylum have left their mark. The YouTube team, Ghost Trip Investigation, investigate the haunted place, and very soon, they hear something. We actively encourage you to come close to the sound of our voice, to use our equipment. Whoa. Did you hear that? That came from that way. It's like a bang. That, it, that was loud. They enter the room where they heard the noise and they find a name. There's a name on this bed. No, there's not. Phyllis Irwin. That somehow makes things creepier. The guys continue on, and they're heading down a hallway when a series of things happens. So we're down there now. It's it's not my head. Head. Did, did I just hear you come out of this room? Whoa, mate, what is going on in this place? Did I just see you walk out of here and walk up to our red light? Then this crazy message comes through on their ghost app. A word bank and it's her bed. It generates random words as we go around. That's her bed. We've just had the name Phyllis, and then I'm asking for a surname. And it's come through on here, Irwin. <laughs> Irwin. That cannot be a coincidence. And then through another paranormal device, this is heard. <laughs> No. Shh, shh, stop. What's your surname, Phyllis? Phyllis Irwin. I wonder what happened to Phyllis Irwin at Penhurst Asylum. Why does her spirit remain here? I hope one day we get some answers. 
Redditor ZZZ747 writes, It happened again. As the Redditor explains it, they posted a video months ago noting that a neighbor's CCTV camera captured something strange, and in this post, we're seeing it for a second time. What do you think this white mist could be? Many in the comments think it's fog rolling through. Others suggest that the neighbor could be vaping. Still, others think it looks like the outline of a person or a ghost. What do you think it is? I'm not 100% sold that it's supernatural, but that doesn't mean it could be. Though judging by the Redditor's title, this isn't the first time this has happened. If this is captured again, maybe we'll be able to get more concrete answers. This abandoned campground in Action, Indiana once served as a makeshift Civil War hospital, and Redditor Jazz underscore 67 seems to be communicating communicating with their spirits. Are there any soldiers here? Yes? I heard yes too. The Redditor hears two distinct voices, however one saying who's that and the other saying yes. Do you hear them too? According to the Redditor, he had the spirit box in a Faraday cage, which blocks electromagnetic fields. Therefore, they believe it's captured true EMFs from the spirit world. What do you think? Although many in the comments are skeptical, I think this Redditor is talking to the spirits of a battalion. If you were told by a spirit not to enter, would you listen? YouTube Team 3 Spires Paranormal returns to the Church of Terror, and soon they are tormented. They ask the spirits here to make some noise, and they do. Bang. They hear it again. Later, they hear what sounds like a squeaky gate opening or closing. The spirit says, don't come in, seems like a pretty direct order to me. The guys go and check out the gates. Ceiling. Yeah. I know. But they're shut tight and there's no one around. Is something preaching in this church of terror? Don't come in. Judging by this message, it seems to me that whatever it is does not want to mingle with the congregation. According to TikToker Mrs. Creepy, a neighbor saw tall creatures luring a person into the forest at night on their ring camera. Watch again. You can see a second creature in the forest waving them in. While this would be incredibly chilling to witness in real life, a few in the comments note that this is originally from the YouTube channel Life of Luxury. So, luckily, this is a work of fiction, but who knows, it could be based on a true story. Is this a magic trick or a paranormal being? Shared by YouTube channel Kisa Weba, this video is currently trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. I was unable to track down the original source. A man is driving down a dark road when suddenly a nightmarish creature stands blocking his path. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have honked at the hooded figure. I definitely wouldn't have gotten out of the car, but this man does. When he approaches the figure and asks it to move, he attempts to pull off its sheet, but he soon regrets it. 
How did this robed figure hold its form? Where did it disappear to? If this is any kind of magic, I think it's the dark kind. Will staying the night at the haunted Brookstown Inn in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, the YouTube team Just Ghouly Things is pushed down the stairs by a ghost. Dude, no. Are you serious? Her feet seemed to slip right out from under her, and she says she felt like she was pushed. Oh my God. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know about this one. It looks like she's taking small enough steps to where she would have been solid in her descent. So this suggests to me she was pushed. But then again, those stairs look slippery. What do you think happened here? This terrifying clip has me hiding under my blanket. YouTube channel Mosa TV Info shared a video of some disturbing activity in an abandoned home. Look and listen. Oh, wait, 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 Toward the end of the clip, they finally discover who is behind all of this aggressive activity. The home itself looks super creepy, and the activity and witch are also well done, but I think this is a fake. The screaming seems to be a bit overkill in my opinion. Still though, it's got me hiding under my blanket. The UK has its own version of the Amityville house, and Moxley's paranormal world is here to investigate it. Upon entering, Moxley immediately gets the creeps. It just looks like something out of a classical. In one of the rooms, a number of their devices are triggered. Getting some spikes there. Do you not like us, not like me sitting on the bed? Mate, it's going mad. Let me put it down. All right. Moxley notes an anomaly in this doorway, but I'm more interested in the whispers that I hear while he's talking at this moment. Listen closely. What if I was you at first? I feel somebody. I feel somebody's right there with me. I, mean, I do. I swear to you, I feel like somebody's here. And then I hear shuffling then, like. Pants like, you know, pants shuffle. Yeah. Was it one of the other guys talking under him? But perhaps the most chilling occurrence during this investigation is what happens next. What? What the f? Do you know what that? The Shh. That? Shh. Oh, mate, mate, Shh. mate, 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 that mate, that's what down here. That's f down here. Wait a the guys search downstairs for the source of the scream but find it empty. They decide to leave. I think that's the best thing they could do. That scream was terrifying. And who knows if it's real or something trying to lure them in. Imagine something is chasing you through a maze, only you cannot see it. One of my favorite paranormal teams, Joe and Elliot of Ghost Theory, investigates this poltergeist labyrinth a house full of sound and fury. Upon first entering, they start hearing noises. Well, it's from my right, so it was down that way. Of course it is. <laughs> and that just looks haunting. It does. Hello? You can hear some creaking, but is it just the house settling, or is someone there? They think it's just the wind until this happens. They start to hear banging around and then they hear voices.
You can clearly hear movement in the darkness. They are capturing some cinematics before leaving when some of the loudest activity occurs. There's some conflicting thoughts about this video in the comments. Some believe that all the noises you're hearing are poltergeist activity. Others think there were intruders on site. Either way, my fear is running hot on this one. Is this human morphing into the wall, or did he just disappear into the light? This ring video shared by Mo Benjamin to the Chills Narrator subreddit shows what looks like a normal person passing in front of this house, but is he normal? The figure disappears from the top down, and then this happens. Watch the wall to the left. What was that mysterious light? In my humble opinion, I think this is a type of camera glitch where the human blends into the shades in the background, and as the dude enters the door off screen, this might explain the light appearing against the opposite wall. What do you think? Did I crack the case? This gin is leading us into the fiery depths below. YouTuber Hassan Barbar encounters this terrifying gin in an abandoned hut, and he believes it's here to trap him. Shots. At first, it seems to be hiding from him. It stands guard behind the wall. But then it lets out this terrifying sound. This is the creepiest game I've ever seen in my life. When Hassan goes to look for him, the creature has disappeared. Where did the jinn go? I'm not sure, but I'd bet my life that we shouldn't follow. A woman was poisoned in this house, and her ghost is reputed to haunt the place. YouTuber Thiago Fericao and his partner Thais visits, and their encounter is one of the most chilling they've ever experienced. As they circle the house, the poisoned woman makes her first appearance. They enter the home and find the furniture in tatters, and then they hear this. As Thiago goes in search of the woman, Tyus sees something. They search the house but find nothing. But as they're leaving, this happens. One of the team is confronted by the poisoned woman, or whatever demon poisoned her. I think Thiago is right that it's time to leave this house, before they're confronted even more aggressively. While roaming the halls of the Jerome Grand Hotel late at night, YouTuber Crossing Guard Paranormal captures an interesting EVP. He asks the spirits to communicate. Anybody on the third floor of the Jerome that would care to speak with me this evening? 
A moment later, he listens to his recording device and captures this. Well, we definitely got an answer there. The spirit wants him to wait, but should he? After hearing a voice like that, I wouldn't. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, will ghost hunting in Fort Langley, BC, Redditor official ECYT captured some creepy EVPs, but it was only when editing the footage that he discovered loads of other paranormal activity. First, introductions. Somehow, the ghosts know the crew by name. So? Your name. It literally just said your name just now. Wow. Are you trying to talk to Gabriel? It said your name. That, out of all the names? That's pretty specific. Gabriel doesn't seem too impressed, honestly. I'd be freaking out in this situation, especially after seeing this. Did you see that? I saw something in that window just now. Window just now. In my opinion, the figure that appears to peek out from the side could just be the outline of another arching window on the opposite wall. The camera shifts, which could elicit the peeking motion, but the atmosphere remains creepy. You hear that? I heard that. We just walked by there, there was like nothing over there. Did you see it? If they really did see a shadow person, maybe I was wrong about that church figure. Maybe it followed them. Is this baby a demon? Or is this image simply distorted, trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community? I came across this image as the thumbnail for a list video by YouTube channel Blah Blah. There's a small clip of the video in the list. The child looks briefly demonic as the baby monitor captures this creepy eye shine. This short clip was all that the channel shared, and I couldn't find any other context or the original source. Do you know the original or full version of this clip? If you do, please share it in the comments so we can answer the burning question, is this a child or a demon? What would you do if you heard this in the forest? YouTuber Moto Owens was out biking when a series of mysterious shrieks set off alarm bells. Hello? The shrieks certainly don't sound human or animal, but some in the community say it sounds like a cougar. And then, the snapping of sticks and twigs seems way too close for comfort. Cougar or skinwalker, I think it was a good idea to get out of there as fast as possible. This investigation starts off strong and ends stronger. Trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community, this scary video was shared by YouTube channel The Bottom Line and its original sources are Chivo Extincto. Upon entering this haunted place, the ghost hunters encounter a shadow figure at the end of a hallway. <sighs> No mames, hay alguien asomado, güey. Ah, no mames. They try to chase it down, but it doesn't return. Hola. Buenas. Hey, acabo de verte. ¿Quién eres? Acabo de verte. ¿Quién eres? Here's a closer look. But that's not all. As the team later interrogates the spirits using a spirit box, they get more back than just talk. Yeah. 
¡Ay, hijo de la madre! ¡Ay! ¡Oh, Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío! He sticks around to question the spirit, Victor, further, but Victor doesn't appear to like his line of questioning. ¿Estás enojado, Victor? Victor, ¿estás enojado? No te pases de lanza. Back outside, more noises are heard. And inside, even louder ones are heard. Victor, puedes de Oh, Dios. Ay, Dios, 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 Dios. After a while, it's not just noises, it's actions. Siento que está aquí conmigo, familia. No mames. No mames, familia. No mames, no mames. Mira, ven, ven, ven eso. Ven eso, se está moviendo esa madre. Did you see it? Something grabbed a hold of his backpack strap. Take a closer look. Was it the shadow figure we saw earlier? I think darkness is here, and it ain't playing. An entity known as Zepalintra appears to the YouTube team, Kai Investiga Cazadores Gilendas, on this road of entities, and it happens when they least expect it. Bom. The figure in black stands still as a statue by their vehicle along the road. It raises a hand and then seemingly disappears. While the cut in the video seems suspect, I can't say for sure if this was staged. But if not, he seems to be gesturing at them to follow, and if I were in their shoes, I'd be wary. YouTuber Blogger Sky Bypass isn't getting any sleep tonight. This is night two in this apartment with a poltergeist. As he walks through the apartment, something comes flying off the wall. It turns out to be a small picture. After asking if the spirit did this, he hears a quiet voice. Here it is with the volume enhanced. He asks the spirit to do something else, and it obliges. Here it is from the other side. This goes to show that you shouldn't ask unless you want an answer. I think this spirit's answer is pretty obvious. Get out of here. This inn in the UK is supposedly haunted, and as guests stay at the inn and are observed on camera, mysterious events often unfold. The YouTube channel Spooktia Podcast speaks to the haunted hotel crew, and here are some of the images that haunt the most. A possessed doll falling from from its chair inside a pentagram. This creepy shadow figure that appears and then slowly vanishes. And this shifty ghost floating past outside the window.
these are just some of the crazy things the crew has captured on camera. I think that's enough for me to tune in to see what else is haunting this hotel. YouTuber Eder Hernandez and his crew are about to enter the Devil's Cave, and what they will witness here may change them forever. The guys seem rattled as they approach the cave, and you'll see they have reason to be. Let's take another look at what they saw. It looks like a faceless being. As they rush away through the jungle, they catch another creature in their purview. Did you see that? Here it is again, slowly this time. There is definitely a figure standing there, but is it the devil? A third capture seems to blur the lines even more. What are these figures? I'm not sure if they're demons, skinwalkers, or the devil himself, but whatever they are, I know I don't want to get a closer look. YouTube team Paranormal Mai encounters a heinous creature hiding away in this home. They believe it's a djinn. As the investigator enters the house, the djinn makes its presence known. He's in the middle of preparing a safeguard against the evil here, when the evil suddenly bangs from another room. Apparently, the evil does not want his guests to have protection. He proceeds to make a commotion as the ritual proceeds. As the man prays from the safety of his circle, the jinn manifests behind him. After realizing he's there, the man turns around to face him. They have a conversation and the djinn gets frustrated. And then the djinn gets very frustrated. <laughs> This rasping aggression grows as the djinn gets angrier. <laughs> After a time, the djinn disappears. But he catches up with the creature again in the attic. <laughs> the thing retreats, and the man is forced to enter the attic. He finds the creature standing against a far wall. I wouldn't go any nearer without protection.
Who knows what this gin might do to you? I believe the jinn exists, especially after seeing this. Where did it go though? We can only hope it didn't enter this man's soul. There's nothing more unappetizing than a demon interrupting your dinner. Shared by YouTube channel Paranormal Man and originally posted by TikToker Mysterioteka, this deep web video is trending in the Japanese speaking YouTube community. What confuses me most is how long it takes anyone to notice the demon's grand entrance. The other conundrum is that, while the father and daughter appear quite frightened, the mother takes her sweet time getting up from the table. Is she in cahoots with the demon? TikTokers have their theories. I wouldn't disregard possession either. She even looks like she's laughing. Her reaction is almost as creepy as the crab walking demon itself. While investigating the haunted Goatman Bridge, Angelo from YouTube team, exploring with Angelo, becomes momentarily possessed. In the forest around the bridge, he sees this particular tree that puts him on edge. I don't know what it is, but there's something drawing me to that tree. <coughs> there's like so many things moving. Then he starts to feel nauseous. Okay. What the f just happened? I thought I was gonna throw up there for a second. Holy. <coughs> it's funny because I had a couple nauseous spells. I just didn't really say anything. And he starts behaving strangely and seeing things. He's there. What? No, oh, he's right there. He's. A moment later, this happens. You see something? He's right there. Are you okay? Huh? You see, you see something? Yeah, he's literally right there. What's going on right now? What is Angelo seeing? Right there. Okay, he's starting to creep me out right now. What the? What's going on right now? There. there. You keep getting further and further. Yeah, but he's right there. The mystery continues. I don't see anything, dude. Right there. What the heck are you seeing? Just come. I don't know if he should listen, but he does. You don't see it? <laughs> what? Then, as they're standing there, those dude, dude, come on, man, we gotta get out of here. You didn't hear that? Dude. Come on. What? Where are you going? Didn't you just hear those footsteps running? Where are you going? And we gotta go. After hearing those terrifying footsteps running at him, Frank is led by Angelo deeper into the forest. But after tripping, Angelo seems to snap out of it. What's up? What? What? Do you not remember just standing by the water there? I never went by the water. What are you talking about? We should go. I have the footage. I'll show you. Do you understand where we are right now? Did we pass the tree? Long time. What came over him? The guys think it was a possession, and he does appear to be in a trance to me. But what he saw is a mystery to us all. I have a feeling it's whatever came running at Frank. Dude. 
Dude. Exploring the paranormal museum known as Archive of the Afterlife, YouTube team Spirit Walk Paranormal encounters the afterlife in many forms. The first is a disembodied breath. I just heard something from that corner. Next, in the form of shadow figures. Two shadow figures were captured behind me, coming from the corner where Charlie was placed. At the time of the encounter, I could feel something behind me, but I had no idea what we caught until I was going through the evidence. That was quite creepy, but I think it could have been the camera capturing a shift in the light. This next movement drives them to interrogate the spirits. Who moved the white tiger? Stuffed animal, who moved that? Can you do it again? <laughs> a strange anomaly also shows up in their footage. Can you finish the rhythm? I've never seen anything like this before, and it's definitely not a light flare or anything of the sort. This one looks like a digital flaw to me, as does this next EVP. I do hear a sound here, but I can't make out what they're hearing. As they're doing an Estee session, they hear something again. And then this haunted doll has a message for them. I wouldn't hug this thing. Not if you value your soul. Something is angry in this haunted psych ward. YouTuber The Paranormal Patch enters the abandoned Arthur Brisbane Child Treatment Center solo. As she enters the gymnasium, several unknown sounds are heard, but it's unclear where they're coming from. The urban explorer doesn't seem too frightened as she continues through the building. More strange noises resound. Still, she continues on, and the sounds keep coming. From where, though, it's hard to tell. This place is undoubtedly haunted. Here's more proof. Why did it move as soon as I came close to it? Can someone explain that to me? And a bit more. When you have five doors slam on you right in a row, I think the spirits are giving you a clear message. It's time to leave. And that's exactly what she does. This is one of the craziest urban explorations I've ever seen. In my opinion, it's impossible that this place isn't haunted. What ghost haunts this creepy former children's camp? Is it that of a former counselor? Or a former camper? Dennis from the YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal explores, and he quickly discovers that whoever it is, it's certainly angry. When Dennis goes to check it out, he is frightened away. As he enters the room, he finds someone is in there. Ah! 
and the eeriness continues. The voice, the running, the dragging, the mayhem. It sounds like the ghost of a child to me. And this active child spirit is now running the camp. Many places claim to be the most haunted, but this one truly earns the title. YouTube team, Twin Paranormal, spends a night at one of the most haunted houses in America, the Basilica Axe Murder House. When they speak to the spirits, they hear some movement. We also heard stories about the evil entity who was here. We hear that there's a portal that leads to the Sally House. If you are here, we are calling upon you. What? Oh no. Someone just ran around upstairs. No. I heard that, bro. Then they receive a name. Yeah, I'm already. Um, with a K? Yeah. No. One of the names. Catherine? Is... Dude, I just got Catherine out of my device. Oh my. I legit just got Catherine out of my device. I, I cannot see it. Next, they receive this terrifying warning. I'm here to warn you. What the f Catherine, is that you? Probably. Probably. Huh? Music box. Catherine. They're hearing noises and receiving strange messages from the beyond. Show yourself. All these noises are coming from upstairs. Literally. What do you guys? Stranger. That's what that man was. Or us. While upstairs, River sees something out of the corner of his eye, and it freaks him out. Guys. Caution, guys. What? I swear to God, I just saw something right here. No. Sh Dude. You heard that? Yes. Something just moved away. Here it is again. Did you guys just hear that? Yeah. Shortly after, a series of creepy sounds and messages leaves twin paranormal reeling. A group of us. A group, a group of us. Did you hear that? What? Nobody else heard that? Uh uh. He's in the doll. He's in the doll. What, what the? He's in the doll. Oh Eight spears. They receive confirmation that the person who took all these lives with an axe is in the doll. So I think they have only one option now. Burn that doll to ash. While well, one ghost is lecturing, another is filing papers. YouTube channel Behind a Side shares this video of a phantom seemingly getting some clerical tasks done. Well, I'd say the drawer falling open could be explained. How do you explain this? That's some spirited paperwork. I think the soul of a disgruntled former employee is here to cause havoc and mayhem. Care to bunk with a demon? YouTuber Jasko and his friend Ben attempt to spend the night in a haunted cabin, but they don't make it until morning. As they first explore the cabin, they're immediately startled. Pay attention to the rocking chair. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Hello? What the f is that? You see anything up there? No, but it, it literally sounded like someone was right next to me. Feathers. 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 It was still at first. Now it's rocking. No, but it, it literally sounded like someone was right next to me. Feathers. 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 What the f does that mean? Somehow they manage to fall asleep, and the rocking chair starts moving on its own again. But after a while, the demons don't appreciate their peaceful slumber. Oh. Still, the guys stick it out a little longer until they hear this. Oh, the f is that? Oh. All right. Yeah. 
Don't worry, Jasko. You're not going crazy. I hear it too. I don't know about you guys, but that growl got under my skin, and I have a feeling it's going to stay there. While staying overnight at the Old City Jail in Bridgeport, Illinois, YouTuber Kalani Ghost Hunter and his wife Savannah immediately feel creepy vibes. Was inside of here, and it's Whistle. Yeah, I kind of heard that too. This jail is reputed to house a demon, and Savannah feels it touch her. Jump. I feel like something kind of brushed their finger across my face, but then I thought maybe it could be a bug, but and you can see me jump because it felt like a finger did not feel like a bug. So as they later record a conversation with the demon, they receive a strange response on their recording device. Oh, it literally said it touched your face. Oh my god. Later, they ask the demon to reveal himself. Can you show yourself to me, please? Can you walk through that door? On the count of three, if you're a demon. The whole thing? In my opinion, that certainly is a yes, and I think this demon may be reaching over from the other side, likely for dark and nefarious purposes. These prisoners are locked up for life, and the afterlife YouTube team Explore A Lot explores the UK's most haunted prison. Listen quietly, they hear a distant whistle. Shortly after, while doing the Estes method, you can hear a whisper of a response. Listen closely. Did you die in this room? Yeah. A quiet voice says, yeah. yeah. It sounds to me like the immortal prisoners here are on lockdown for eternity. Located in Scotland, Bannockburn House is a magnificent 17th century mansion said to be haunted by the Bonnie Prince Charles. The YouTube team, Trax Studio, investigates the mansion, and their paranormal devices are quickly triggered. Thank you. Oh, the two of them. The guys are just. Setting up some cameras here, and John says he was hearing, hearing some movement up here. And In another room, the crew sees a black shadow standing beside one of them. You can hear them talk about it off camera. Cold, right? I actually thought I'd see something that left hand side again. That's great, I've seen something that's moving. But you see it left, you mean here? I know, yeah, sorry, that's right. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want right hand. That's that's they hear a scary noise that causes them to panic. And a little later, one of the team can be heard choking. He says he was being strangled, but by what? By the ghost of Bonnie Prince? Or by some other evil that lies herein? Scotland has some gruesome history, and I think deep research would help us unravel what demon is strangling him. Only then will we find out what it wants. How do you think you would fare in a haunted house? And I mean actually haunted. Currently trending in the Brazilian YouTube community, this scary video was shared by YouTube channel EXTV. Its original source is TikToker Martina Mina. Martina is a single mom who has experienced paranormal activity in her house ever since she moved in. With multiple videos documenting her and her children's experience, this one takes the cake. The dark hooded figure in the corner vanishes the second the woman turns on the light. She's so freaked out that she decides to leave for a hotel for the night. 
many in the comments are just as freaked out by this mysterious figure. Some think it's a djinn. There are many questions I'd like answered to before I decide for myself what this really is, because this one has me on the fence. If this is real, then it very likely is a djinn, but could this mysterious figure just be a human under a sheet? This is the question that has me unable to make up my mind. What questions do you need answered? Humans may be scary, but humanoids are a level up. Neither fully human nor fully creature, these beings come in all shapes, sizes, and forms. Jay from YouTube channel, The Journey is the Destination, encounters one while exploring the insanely haunted Hog Island in this scary video. Even in the daylight, this place is creepy. Using a spirit box, Jay picks up some communications. YouTuber Zoe Felix hears, Don't lie to me. And I gotta say, I hear that too. Later, the spirits offer up more warnings. Don't worry. I'm worried now, especially when he gets this series of messages. Jay returns later at night, and he is greeted warmly but uncannily. That's when he sees something in the trees. What is that? What the freak did I just see? It almost looked like some weird human thing standing there, and it moved as soon as. Oh my god. Though he didn't capture it on film, Jay says he saw a pale, five-foot-tall figure with no hair and black eyes. He later comes across this creepy altar. Altar things set here or something, I don't know. Some in the comments think that what Jay saw in the trees were elementals. Did I just see? Is that what he saw? I think this could be spot on. I wish the entity had been caught on camera. Then again, I don't want that replaying in my dreams. A return to these haunted, hollowed out buildings leads YouTuber, Samal Shadow Hunter, to the shadows. Here is one of them. Samal meets with a looming shadow figure on this path, and as he gets closer, it disappears. He continues his search around the compound and encounters another figure. As he watches the hooded being, it too disappears. What is this figure? It is not actually a shadow, as we may have assumed. It's a being in a robe and a hood. Perhaps a demon? I don't know what it is, but to me, it looks like the shadow hunter is becoming the hunted. When YouTuber Connor from The Explorer Returns returns to the abandoned house of nightmares, he realizes he's not alone. He approaches the home at around 2 a.m., and as he approaches this room, he's in for it. The trailer of the film. Hello?
Hello? Is someone there? After legging it out of there, he pauses to catch his breath. What's going on? What the f What the f And shortly after, he hears a strange noise. I'm literally gonna have to just go down there. If there's someone here, then I'd... This place is he has to go back in order to leave the house, and that's when this happens. Holy f Oh my that was so- After leaving the place, he re-enters but doesn't find anyone. What I want to know is how. How did he have the guts to re-enter this clearly haunted place? Just how? Some ghosts are so dramatic. YouTube team Project Fear shares this scare at the sanitarium. First, they hear a girl's voice. Could have came from any single door at any single- What the f That was a girl's high-pitched voice. Hello? And then this happens. What the f Holy f That door just shut! That door just shut! That door at the very end of the hall just shut! He picks up the camera to go and check it out. Shut! I hope I caught that on camera. No way. No way. And it's leaving me in utter terror. Do you believe in dark magic? YouTube team Rota X Investigaso Paranormal stumble upon a dark magic ritual in the forest and they capture the ritual tools on video. Opa? Que isso? Gente. Vem cá, ó. Achei uma coisa aqui, ó. Acho que é um ritual, alguma coisa. Situated near a tree is a doll covered in red liquid, a jug and some candles. É uma representação de uma boneca bem machucada. Ó. Tem um vaso ali, né, Alto? Tem velas aqui, ó. It looks like a dark ritual was done here. Maybe it's been staged for fun and games, or maybe not. This is something straight out of a horror film. Like the Rota X team who witnessed it firsthand, I'll have this imprinted in my brain for life. In the Sister Sister house, YouTuber The Fam is joined by Omar Gosh and Jasko. Oh, and I almost forgot, an evil demon. It begins early on in their investigation when they start hearing lots of sounds. Dude, I'm getting so embarrassed. Just the fact that being closer to the dump. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Really? whoa. Wait, hold on. Go back. I gotta see this. After you. Dude, this spirit's already messing with us, bro. Upstairs, they're standing in the hallway when a picture on the wall starts moving. Honestly, like, I really can't even believe we're back here. I mean, I don't know. I don't... Did that just move? Wait. You... He is not tripping. The painting definitely moved, and like, a lot. With nothing behind it, and in the next room... Yo! 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 Dude! The mirror swings rapidly. Later, James is in the room by himself, and this happens... By the time this comes up, what was that? Oh, did you just freaking see that? I literally heard that, and then immediately an orb came toward me. 
Oh, sh- That was loud. Is it just me, or does a figure appear to move in the mirror? Whoa, did you just freaking see that? It moves past, but doesn't seem to correspond exactly with James's arm, so I don't think it's his own reflection. And the light tapping becomes heavy footsteps as the rest of the crew joins him. How the hell did it move? Like it? What the f Wait. Oh, oh Hey, yeah. no, 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 no. James, James. Still, they continue their tour of this especially haunted place, and they come across this. Whoa, what is that? What the hell was that? Bro, look, look at the chairs. What, look at the what? chairs. Dude, there's freaking crazy orbs. No way, bro. No, bro, look at all these orbs right now. I'd be done too. This place is too haunted, even for a ghost hunter. Uh-oh, the hand is reaching out from the other side. YouTube channel It's Jammer shares this creepy video that'll give you nightmares. The clip's original source's Instagram account, Spikers. That was a hand, a child's hand. Look more closely, and yet there's no one there. This is just one of the many terrifying things that have occurred in the Instagrammer's house. Personally, I think his footage is some of the creepiest of its kind. While camping in a haunted forest at night, YouTuber Jasko experiences a paranormal microaggression. Just watch. Can can you come closer to us and like let us know? Oh, what the f oh, dude, what the f what the f the f just happened? Whatever is in that dark forest, listen to Jasko's request and then some. Like let us know. Like let us know. Oh, what the f that looked really legit to me especially due to the fact that he's holding his cell phone, which could have been water damaged. Who would risk it? Not many people can say they've been roughed up by a demon, but I think Jasko can. While investigating this haunted hotel of horrors, something breezes past this YouTuber from the channel, Morris's Paranormal Adventures UK, and he feels it. Show yourself to me, please. I'm up here on my own. I can see you on this camera. If you come and stand in front of it, I'll be able to see you. Woo! Oh, f***ing hell. It went dark then. That something would be behind me then. Is that you? Oh, sh the feeling doesn't go away either. My whole body just feels really tingly. That's freaky. Yeah, that is. Uh, look at that. Uh, it did seem like something swept past him to me, but it could just be that this hotel is awfully atmospheric. I wouldn't be surprised if a whole gaggle of ghosts are hauled up here. You're not the only one waiting for eternity at the DMV. Some have been waiting so long, they've passed away from boredom, literally. Shared by YouTuber El Gap Terror. This scary video is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video's original source is unknown. This man may not be waiting at the DMV, but what he captures on camera in a waiting room is strange and unexplained. According to the video, he is waiting for his sister at school when he decides to take a random video. A dark, semi-transparent figure appears right in front of the man recording the footage. Do you see it? How can you explain this? Is the camera's refocusing causing a momentary figure to appear? Or is someone here, waiting for their demise? 
Personally, I wouldn't wait around with it to find out. This Mineral Springs Hotel is seriously haunted. And the YouTube team Paranormal Quest has come to investigate. They set up a steady cam and a K2 meter in one of the rooms, and the K2 immediately registers some activity. A few minutes later, movement is heard, and the REM pod goes off again. Their spirit box later captures this sweet wish. Rest in peace. Or is it a warning? Later, they enter this room and are met with a reaction from the music box. What? Whoa, where is it? Paranormal music box right back here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right there, dude. Oh, shit. Who is that? Clarence? Is that you? Do you like the music box? It seems the answer to that question is yes. When they talk about going down into the basement, the spirit has something to say about it. No, but it might be worth it. Let's go brave the bugs. Are you trying to talk to us? This spirit has had enough of them. Later, during an Estee session in the basement, the spirit gives them his final warning. Leave. I just need you to confirm if you want us to leave right now. And we will. But I need you... Catball it up. Absolutely. That seems like enough confirmation to me. In my opinion, whatever is here very clearly wants them to leave, and if they don't listen, who knows what will happen. At over 160 years old, the May Stringer House is now known as the Hernando Heritage Museum, but it is best known as one of the most haunted houses in Florida. YouTube team Crossing Art Paranormal investigate the historic home and capture some poltergeist activity while wearing a back body cam. Is Mr. Nasty flipping through the directory? The team writes that the directory is made of metal with paper inserts and is therefore too heavy to be moved by air currents. It looks to me like Mr. Nasty is searching for a way to curse us all. Is this baby causing its toy to levitate? YouTube channel ScaryVid uploaded this creepy poltergeist activity on camera. The baby lies awake in its crib, while a stuffed animal levitates and then falls repeatedly on the bed. I think either this baby has superpowers, or the parents should move it out of this room ASAP. Things aren't always what they seem. YouTube channel Rootstown Paranormal shares this security footage captured at a gas station in Wadsworth, Ohio. Pay attention to the garbage cans. Every garbage can shifts to the right simultaneously. But how? If you watch closely, I think the video has been sped up toward the end. Keep your eye on the truck bed. The bottom right of the tarp seems to move unnaturally. This suggests to me that a strong wind may have moved all of the trash cans, but not as quickly as the video suggests. What do you think is going on here? This stadium is haunted by a black shadow. YouTuber Outdoor Xiao Long is searching for it when this happens. Ah! 
Later, he sees the red ball he saw last time he was here. He starts running toward it when it upends him. Evil seems to be following him everywhere here. Keep a close eye on the mirror. A shadow figure is standing beside him. Did you see it? Is it a trick of the light? Our eyes? That's what I would have thought. But it disappears when he turns back. But it's not just that shadow that's freaking viewers out. Watch this next scene. <laughs> what was that? A face peeks out at him from the doorway. It looks like a woman with long hair. Looks to me like the shadow figure isn't the only thing Zhao Long has to worry about in here. This place is a demon's paradise, and it seems like they're out to get him. Bodies of water are some of the most mysterious places on Earth. That's why they're the setting of many mythical monsters. Facebook page, Chasing Tales Outdoors Bait and Tackle shares this footage of something unknown captured in the port. It's not clear what port this was captured in, but many in the comments think they know what this is. I don't know if it's either of those things. The only way to really solve this mystery is by draining the port, and that seems quite excessive. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Lucky1196, this redditor wrote, Can you see what these dogs see? I think this may be a re-upload, but I'm unsure about the original source or where this video was taken. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Busy Bunch 5050 wrote, I mean, I would be checking if that dude needed medical help. Well, Sid Hearth Dakua 02 wrote, It's fake. Personally, I don't think it's fake because I can see the figure that is alerting the dogs. I think the big question now is if it's a human being or something paranormal. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. Those who walk the hallowed grounds of historical battlefields never leave empty-handed. YouTube team Memphis Seekers Paranormal explores the grounds where the Civil War Battle of Shiloh occurred, and they meet with a soldier. First, they hear something. That was a strange noise, but it may have been an animal. Later, they place the camera on the ground, and it captures some footsteps that they say weren't theirs. The audio also captures the guys' voices as they spot a figure. 
something straight up right on the other side of the lake. Just inside the tree. Was it whatever they saw in the woods? And there's something in the woods that is making a lot of racket. Although the guys saw something that we, as viewers, weren't privy to, the noises alone were creepy enough for me to have called off this investigation before it even began. Ready to hear what a real demonic possession sounds like? In December of 2022, police intervention was called to a village in Poland when a woman suspected of possession had barricaded herself in the attic. After trying to convince the woman to come down, this happens. When the police try to approach her, she gets aggressive. By the YouTuber's account, this woman did not previously suffer from any mental health or personality disorders and was not under the influence of any substances. Yet, she continues throwing stuff at them and roaring demonically. Despite not seeing the victim, this is some of the most authentic possession footage I've ever witnessed. I hope the police were able to get the woman the help she needs. <laughs> While the DJ was closing a nightclub, he heard something bone-chilling. YouTuber Dark Moose shares this creepy video. Listen closely. You can hear a woman scream. She then starts shouting for help. Also captured in the video is a figure or figures walking past in the background. Hearing this late at night is unsettling, that even people walking nearby feel unsafe and flee. Some in the comments are wondering why the crew seems so chill while hearing this scream, and they don't seem to be in any rush to help. Others suggest that this is a common tactic to lure unsuspecting victims into being robbed, or worse, ending their life. I'm not sure what exactly is going on here. But if there's any truth to the last suggestion, I'm now going to be paranoid whenever someone cries out for help. It sucks that we live in a world where we hesitate to come to someone's aid because it may be a trap, but unfortunately, that's the possibility. Once a seminary school and then a hospice for displaced women, Madison Seminary in Ohio is supposedly haunted. With over 170 years of history, its walls are open to the YouTube team Charm City Paranormal for investigation. In one of the rooms, known as Sarah's Room, the team's paranormal devices are triggered. When one of the team goes to check out the K2 meter, it moves slightly without explanation. A moment later, they hear a disembodied voice. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Here it is with the audio boosted. 
Is Sarah here? What does she want from her newfound company? Whoever's spirit this is, I feel she's ready to communicate. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Altruistic Shoe 2593 he titled this video, Strange Object Above the Sky. Let's watch. What do you f I just saw something on top right there. Uh, what's that? I can certainly see what he's talking about, but the question remains, what is this thing? Let me know what you think it is in the comments. After receiving a case about paranormal activity in this resident's home, the YouTube team, the new reality paranormal heads there to investigate. First, they capture an EVP on a recording device. Tell us why you're haunting this place? Are you a female? Did you hear a voice right now? Yeah, they yeah. say so, yeah. Very soft. Are you a female? Right yeah. There. Yep. Then they ask the spirits a question and receive a direct response. Are you trying to be the main person in this family, the the mother figure? Aunt. Well, you're trying to be the aunt. The spirit confirms her presence. Can you give us two knocks? Like this? Oh, it was out here. Yep. Although I didn't hear the knocks on this camera, the team's second camera captures her response clearly. Can you give us two knocks? Like this? Oh, it was out here. Yep, I heard it. I heard the knocks. Is this spirit knocking on heaven's door, or is she inviting them to join her? I can't be sure, but for some reason, I feel she shouldn't be trusted. A man was living isolated in a forest. One day, while he was walking along, he heard strange sounds. He arrived at a dark part of the forest, where he saw a tall, hairless, pale creature leaning against a tree. Its hind legs looked like those of a pig's. But then, it turned around. Shared by Spanish YouTube channel Breakman, I also came across this image on Fahad Rai's YouTube channel. The original source is Kujangala. According to Breakman, the person who encountered this thing said it was hunched over, with a face covered in red, like it was feeding on something. As he did not have a recording device, this remained a horror story kept locked up tight in the imagination. But from then on, the man always brought a recording device on his forest walks. And one day, on just such a walk, he heard strange noises again, so he started recording. And this is what he captured. The man believes it's the same creature he met before in these haunted woods. Is it a mythological creature? A supernatural being? A pig man? Or something else altogether? I don't know how to classify this creepy thing, but I do know it's hungry. This haunted doll room is giving YouTube team SS3 Paranormal the creeps. The team keeps a security camera in the room, and it's been capturing unexplained noises. Listen closely, you'll hear a bang, scratching near the mic, and also what sounds like a breath. There also appears to be an orb floating near the possessed dolls. The orb could be dust, but the noises unsettle me. Are the dolls coming alive in this room? I'd have a hard time entering after hearing that strange breath. Their haunted home had been quiet for weeks. 
But then the YouTube team GND Studios took out the Halloween themed houses called Spooky Town. Once they'd been unpacked, the poltergeist activity in their home ramped up. That literally jumped out of her hand, and it does it again. Did it slip, or is something fishy going on here? After that, she gives up. In another clip, the poltergeist becomes even more aggressive. A few minutes later, this happens. And then, even stranger, what's going on here? It looks 100% paranormal to me. And the first step to calming it is to pack up that Halloween spooky town and light it on fire. This noise anomaly is freaky. YouTuber SS3 Paranormal captures a strange sound, followed by a dark flash in the corner of the room. Look and listen. Let's isolate the two. Here's the noise. It almost sounds extraterrestrial to me. And here's the flash. Watch the top right corner. Well, that could be explained by the camera's light adjustment. I'm not sure what the sound is. Maybe an extraterrestrial's belly growling? If that's the case, feed him. Does Redditor Shailanshina's cat have a ghostly nighttime friend? Security camera footage captured this mysterious figure in the upper left corner of the camera. My first thought is a spider leg or something on the lens, but the Redditor says they immediately checked and there were no bugs in sight. What do you make of this? Is the cat cursed, as some are suggesting in the comments? If it's not a bug, I have no clue what it could be. Some paranormal entities don't like being investigated. YouTube Team Spirit Brothers UK is being growled at by this one. They set up a paranormal device in this haunted space. Come on guys, so what we're going to do is just going to throw another stone in here because we've heard it again. Their device starts to go off. And this is what they capture on their recording device. That's in that room. What is that horrible voice? I don't want to know what evil made this sound, but I think it's in the room with them. A subscriber contacted YouTuber Kolya of Seeker of Ghosts with a complaint of a poltergeist causing havoc in his apartment. Kolya heads to the place to investigate and to spend a sleepless night. With some candles, he asks the spirit to show itself. Let's 
Спасибо за то, что ты себя проявил. It is here. Not long after, it makes a bigger fuss. Офигеть, какая-то уже паранормальная активность. Просто смотрите, друзья. After shaking the desk and flickering the lights, the poltergeist starts throwing things. As he tours the home, more activity occurs in the next room. And then this happens. Something is angry here, but as this is the end of the video, we won't see how that anger escalates, but if I had to guess, I'd say Kolya will get no sleep tonight. You're not going to want to open your kitchen cupboard after seeing this. TikToker Haunted TikToker shares this video of a creepy cupboard creature in Brazil. <laughs> Escutei um barulho aqui no fundo aqui quando eu vi isso aqui, lá debaixo do tanque aqui de lavar roupa. As the guy explains, he heard a strange noise coming from this cupboard and now is holding the creature hostage with a broom. What do you think it could be? Now it's time for the big reveal. Eu até que eu pensei que poderia ser um gambá, mas não é não, quer ver, ó. Viu, presta atenção, lá no fundo lá, lá no fundo, mas tem o pequenininho tá chorando, tá aqui atrás da porta aqui, ó. It's not just one creature, it's two of them. Some in the comments think they know what they are. While the eyes do look owlish to me, the one on the left looks like it has antennas. In my opinion, this is something extraterrestrial. After receiving an alert on his phone, Redditor Django Crutch is wondering if this is a shadow figure or a bug. Take a look. Right there. Goes up. What the f the shadow-like creature shifts upward through the Redditor's yard and then disappears off-screen. Of course, Redditors have their theories. By the way it moves, I'd agree it's most likely a bug on the lens. But it could also be that evil is trespassing. If I were this Redditor, I would be exercising a high degree of caution. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Ramsey Rocks 2023, this Redditor wrote, UFO over my yard in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. My neighbor called me over as I was out walking my dog and he was filming this. It made no sound. You can hear him talking in the background. He handed me the phone because he was shaking so hard. Traffic went by on the road as if we were the only ones who saw this. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Okay, what the f I don't have them. Okay, gang, I don't know what I'm looking at here. This is in the, over the trees in my backyard right now. If you can hear the crickets and stuff, the car's going by. What the f is that? Holy s***. There was certainly a wide array of opinions about this video in the comments. It's just hearsay wrote, nice footage, while other alternative 75 wrote, those are Elon Musk's SpaceX satellites. Which side are you on here? Unidentified flying object or satellite? Let me know in the comments. Your neighborhood watch is supposed to make you feel safer. It shouldn't make you feel like this. YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures shares this footage sent in from a man in Michigan who said he was called to the end of the street by his neighborhood watch, and this is what he found.
After watching the Watchman for a while, the guy realizes this figure is not a man. Look at those eyes. Human eyes don't have eyes shine at night. When the figure starts walking menacingly toward him, he decides to get the heck out of there. What is this thing? I don't know, but if I had to guess, I'd say it isn't human. YouTuber Jasko and his group enter a house known for its evil spirits. The place is also home to a demon, or so they say. Let's see if there's truth in it. When Jasko presses on a piano key, there's a faint whisper. Just go ahead and do something like this. Did you hear it? Listen again closely. What was that? As Omar details the home's history, the team is given quite a scare. However, I, I am pretty terrified. Whoa, what the Did he get something wrong or too much right? They tour the home and discover what their next destination is. Oh. oh, bro, did you hear that? Yeah, 100%. At least they're not going the other direction. In another room, they're talking when they hear what sounds like a woman's voice. A dark spirit here that doesn't really like anybody. <gasps> bro, did you hear that? That sounded like a f woman. Bro, that was out here. What the f You heard that? that? 100%. It sounded like a hum almost. Like a. Omar suggests that they each take a floor for an hour when they hear the voice again. That idea. Yeah. We'll all record separately. Yes. Right. That's nuts. I like that. Oh, did you fing hear that? It was like a like a woman singing right now. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if it came from upstairs. Later the spirit app provides a prompt response. I'm off at this point. I'm listening to everything. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God. They're listening and they must be angry about what they hear. What was that? That was up there. That was up there. Bro. When James heads upstairs to have a look, this happens. It's a light. I thought it was a dog. This is so cool. Ooh. What the? Bro, uh uh. Uh uh. Bro, what the? No, 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 Dude, no, 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 James sends the other two upstairs and they discover something unbelievable. No, it was closed, bro. They slammed. These doors are open. James, the doors are wide open. What? No. Maybe no, no, see. no way. No, they both closed. No, maybe they closed and opened. Does it? Hold on. Later, James is sent flying. You all right, bro? James. James. Oh, James. Dude, he's like passed out. Bro, are you are you okay? The guys get him some water, but he still seems out of it. Scratch. Scratch. Bro, are you They spread out and are now each on different floors. Jasko's floor is particularly haunted. What the f That has to be them downstairs, there's no way. I'd be freaking too if I saw that. When he finally gets the courage to look around the corner again, he sees this. Hell no, hell no, hell no, hell no. I, I literally cannot do this. I literally cannot do this. Francis, that's enough. That's enough. All he said was his name and that's it. Back down in the basement, it's lights out for James. Or at least, lights not totally on. Super free. Whoa, 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 the light. What the Bro, did you guys just see that? 
No, 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 no. What? Bro. No way. No way. No freaking way, bro. Oh my Finally, Jasko finds this creepy doll and asks it some questions. Watch the doll's eyes. That thing blinked. If I were Jasko, I'd throw that doll away. Then I'd throw the whole house away. This place definitely doesn't want them here. This ghost-filled house is home to some really freaky phantoms. YouTuber Dennis from Dark Life faces off with them in this scary video. As Dennis explores a back room, this happens on the steady cam in the kitchen. Dennis is explaining where he sets up the cameras when paranormal activity unfolds. After this earthquake like presence, Dennis does an EGF session and the spirits are pleading. They then send him this ominous warning. Dennis still dares to enter the basement after his remote control car gets stuck. He descends to retrieve it. That's when he hears this. Getting hold of the car, he starts to head up when he spots what appears to be a bone. Is it human? After crawling back out of there, Dennis attempts to replace the floorboards. That's when this happens. When he ducks back under, he hears the rasping sound again. <laughs> if you were waiting for a jump scare to pop out of that hole, don't worry, it doesn't. Whatever is down there remains, and in my opinion, its never-ending presence there is way scarier than a jump scare. No need to write a Yelp review. Just chuck your plates off the table. YouTube channel Behind a Side shares this footage of a poltergeist having a cuppa. Keep an eye on the table in the forefront. Chairs scrape away from the table, and a napkin falls to the floor. But then things get aggressive. This poltergeist is sending back his dinner. Here it is again, close up. The activity appears to happen in sequence. I think the small movements are too jarring to be the air conditioning turning on, or some other explainable disturbance, and the more extreme ones, like the chair moving and the plate flying off the table, are clearly paranormal in my opinion. What do you think a demon looks like? Ask YouTube team Paranormal Voyages, who spotted one in an abandoned house. While performing an estate session, one of the teams sees a red light in the next room. I saw, I swear I saw a f***ing red light. Excuse the language, sorry. I saw a red light back here. 
Like if somebody was lit, lit up a cigarette Ouch. and took a puff. Then the demon seems to be playing around. What are you waiting for? What the heck? I told you there was something. Is there like a f uh, feather floating right here? It looked like a white feather and it was just like, and it's like right here, it just floated right past me. Is she just seeing things? You feel like I see like a little shadow like coming out of the bathroom. It's on the floor. Another of the crew puts on the aura goggles, and now he starts seeing things the others can't. Is there a sphere over in that little corner over there, like about the size of a ball? There's something round. There's no sphere over there, from what I can see. Then a terrifying message is given to the team. Your demon, your neighbor. just said I'm a demon. <gasps> what? Whoa, what? Fudge, I just said that. You said that. Holy mm, you're not allowed here. We don't want How? you here. And the team member wearing the aura goggles sees something crazy. Oh my god, I seen something move. Oh that was wicked. Oh my god, you should have seen that. Oh, whoa, these are freaking awesome. Oh my god, I got oh I'm shaking. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed. Oh my god, you ought to Holy that was so cool. I wish we could see it too. I'm definitely feeling it though, and it feels evil. Is this Tinkerbell? Redditor FlickMe666 would like to put their friend's mind at ease. The Redditor's friend captured this strange figure on their CCTV. And although they initially thought it was a bug, its glow looks pretty intense. The Redditor asks other Redditors what they think it might be, and they have answers. But Redditor Corbin Kandaroo has probably the most logical answer. The more I look at it, the more I think this is probably on the right track, but I'm still hoping it's Tinkerbell. Lights Over Reno had some people up in arms, but there may be a logical explanation. Redditor Practical Book 3293 shares the scary footage of the incident. Call your mom and dad. What is that? While most would likely be as startled as the guy filming, don't worry, it's probably not extraterrestrials. It's stopping the shine. If you take a look at the still image of Starlink, you can see the resemblance. This is the likely explanation to me. Or is it a fleet of extraterrestrial, unidentified flying objects mimicking Starlink to incept our world? Whatever you choose to believe. Dennis from YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal is the only human in a house of demons. How will he fare? Well, we're about to find out. As Dennis speaks with the spirits through a device, he notices time is going at warped speed. Later, he captures this poltergeist activity as it unfolds. Is the demon going to play him in a game of chess? It certainly seems like it. As things intensify, Dennis pulls out all the stops, visiting the home cellar, and he'll soon regret it. Ah. 
back upstairs. The demon house isn't getting any quieter. Is this the end for Dennis? I think he should probably leave while well, he still can. YouTuber Franco from Franco TV has moved on from cemeteries to explore a haunted castle in this scary video, and it's straight away giving me the chills. Listen. You could hear bats. Out in a courtyard, he starts hearing a distant sound, like a sing-song voice. What the f is that? I hear music. It goes on and on. Still, he continues his search, and as he does, his paranoia heightens. Holy Holy I got it from behind me. Back outside, his camera captures a dark figure amongst the bushes. But the figure disappears. What is this creature? Does it belong to this haunted castle? I feel like there's a dark mystery buried in this castle's history. And without digging into the past, we will never know what we're dealing with here. Redditor Absolute Avarice is wondering if this dude is legit smack in the gin in this scary video. The clip's original source's YouTube channel, Tommy Amongst the Tombstones. Let's take a look. This man is not afraid of ghosts. They are afraid of him. A second clip shows him giving another ghost a beat down. And another. And one more. In all my time analyzing Jin videos, I've never seen someone smack or strike a ghost like this, and some believe he's legit. This man is not afraid of ghosts. Whether real or fake, I think this guy needs to send his application to the Ghostbusters. Stat. I've never seen a smoke ring do this. Redditor Dillinator40 shares this video originally posted by TikToker, The Hall Family 2018. The smoke somehow has the power to overturn a hammock. Shortly after, you can see it return in the background. Although my mind is blown, Redditors have their theories as to what's going on here.
If it's just vapor, how would you explain the hammock turning over? I don't know if it's smoke or something more substantial. YouTuber Near Shadows has a stalker. After being led here by Randonautica, this is what they capture on camera. Ah! That's it. What the heck? Oh my please, please. Go. Please. Go. Please. What the was that? Is that a demon, a banshee, or is it human? <laughs> it doesn't sound human to me. <laughs> My money's on this being a banshee. Have you ever stumbled upon an image that haunts you? I've come across this one multiple times, particularly on the Brazilian side of YouTube, and it's stuck with me. I had to find out what's going on here. I found the full video shared by Oliver Fear and EXTV. It's unclear to me if the girl in the selfie is the same girl that's in the other two frames of the original image. The original source or any additional context is unknown. According to EXTV, the woman suddenly fell into this state and her friends continued filming, thinking it was a prank. The woman's eyes turned wide and black as she started shaking uncontrollably. Slouched in the chair, she appears to be either in a state of seizure or of demonic possession. With the look in her eyes, I'm leaning towards a possession. What do you think is happening here? All I know is, no one should be laughing. We all wish we could see our dearly departed loved ones one last time. Well, a friend of Redditor BRUUUHUHUHUHUBHUHUHU was lucky enough to have one last visit from her recently passed away grandma, but it's super creepy. <laughs> This video was captured in Romania. Denisa's grandma had recently passed away and was buried. When Denisa heard this creepy voice, she immediately began filming. Watch for the woman's face at the end. Denisa says the voice was her grandma's and this face looks like hers. I know from past research that an entity who looks and sounds like someone familiar is often a demon pretending. So if I were Denisa, I wouldn't approach grandma. Is this Adobe from the 1800s Haunted? YouTube team Mackie and Amanda investigate the home and its surrounding forest. As they arrive, they capture an orb floating on the left of the screen. 100%. Um... Before we turn Did you see it? 100%. While using a spirit box to communicate, a strange white streak appears on the window. It's fine. Like, like, it's almost like she's like, like, it's like she grabbed your shoulder and be like, Shh. Watch again. Like, like, it's almost like she's like, like, it's like she grabbed your shoulder and be like, Shh. Like, like, it's almost like she's like, like, it's like, Was that a falling star? Later, Amanda feels a pain in her side, and simultaneously, a strange grunt is heard. What does it feel it wasn't like? like my normal pain. So it felt like squeezing. That's weird. Ow. Could that have been the camera? In the darkness, they hear what sounds like footsteps. <laughs> Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like footsteps from over there. I'm trying to light. They do sound like footsteps. Although they don't find anyone, they hear other noises in the night. All the way up to the... Do you hear that? And what they describe as a raspy voice. Yeah. 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 
to me, that sounds like Mackie. But then they encounter a surprise in the darkness. A lot of eyes. Where? They're deer! <gasps> Hi, babies! Oh, my they're just deer! Deer are camped out in the fields. They don't seem to be afraid of whatever presence lurks here. So although this video boasts its fair share of anomalies, I don't think the presence here is evil. This one's a head scratcher. Redditor FAKHAMNK shares this mysterious video that has skeptics questioning everything. Just watch. For context, the Redditor is a skeptic and just moved into this home. The same thing happened twice, about 20 minutes apart around 2 a.m. Watch again. The more you watch it, the harder it is to figure out. Unless you're these Redditors in the comments, who apparently know exactly what's happening. Others think it's vape, and still others think it's fake. But the Redditor says they've also been hearing weird noises and seeing things out of the corner of their eye. So who do you trust? Reddit commenters or the Redditor who posted this footage? In my opinion, to come to a full conclusion, we're gonna need more footage. Is this a random draft or something much more concerning? Whatever it is, Redditor LFUCULOKINASE is weirded out enough that they keep having to lock their door. Take a look. Did something just come upstairs? This has got to be the creepiest stairway I've ever laid eyes on. I would stay far away. I'm pretty sure it descends to the fiery depths below. You'll need to say your prayers if you're planning to spend a night in this creepy monastery. YouTuber Franco TV braves an overnighter at the haunted place known as the Devil's Monastery, and he immediately starts feeling unsettled. All right, I made it back out here, and it is horrifying. And starts kind of like pushing me in towards the church, where I feel like I'm protected slightly until I start having other weird encounters inside. This time isn't any different for Franco. Once inside, he hears something. But look what they did. They completely took down the cross and leaned it up against the wall. Oh. I think it was upstairs. So he heads upstairs, but then starts hearing things downstairs. Franco heads back down to the room to investigate. It legit sounds like moving. Coming from the inside of here. At first, he doesn't hear anything more significant, but then, as he continues forward, this is heard. Did you hear it? Something did legit move, and as he continues to search the haunted place, he hears yet another spooky voice. This place is paranormal gold, 
and in my opinion, Franco's got some guts to visit this demonic place solo. I'd either need a posse to join me, or I'd have to steer clear of this pure evil. While in the witch's house, YouTuber Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal discovers a living Rognet doll. The doll instantly puts Dennis on edge. <laughs> He places a walkie-talkie in the room with the doll. And he listens back to a recording he made. Так, вытаскиваем микрофон. The doll is watching. While he's in the room with it, he hears something in the next room. But he finds nothing. Though it seems like this creepy doll is harmless, there is something about it that raises my hair on end. Dennis packs it up and returns it home, but he does not enjoy the doll's company. Given these events though, I'd say that's understandable. Some sad souls are still locked up in old Williams County Jail. YouTube team Ghost Bros teams up with spirit stalkers to investigate the abandoned jail in Bryan, Ohio. In the interrogation room, the team uses a spirit box to interrogate the spirits. A little later, the spirits show that they are watching them. Six. Six? Six, yeah. Six what? There's six of us. Ooh. Then this alarming exchange occurs. We're gonna go to the gear room. Come on. Come on! No, I heard Armand, dude. How do you know his name? I introduced myself. Oh. What'd he say? He, it's a, it's a, he said it. I said, how do you know his name? It's like he said it. It said he said it, dude. Yeah. yeah. A recording device also captures some welcoming voices. Whoa, what's that? Whoa, 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 the spirit starts playing around with them. Can you tell us your name or one of our names? Let us know you're listening to us. I just said my name. Jake. Can you please, at some point throughout the night, scream? It even seems to be directly ordering them around. Guys, the cell. Come. I just said take it or Jacob. Jake. It just said Jake right after this. Dude, that's intelligent. It's saying right now he's telling me that. Yeah. Look at me. It just, oh. We hunt. Even after passing, those who were locked up here hunt us. Can you feel the evil on you? Because I can. If you happen upon a possessed person, my advice would be to just leave them to their own devices. YouTuber Luan Mendez and his crew encountered this woman who seems to be under the spell of possession. Let's see what happens. While no harm came to the team, it seems to me that it very well could have. And now that they've intervened, who knows what might come back to bite them. A 
an evil demon is trapped inside this haunted witch's house and he wants to take you down with him. YouTuber Mosarji dares to explore the place and he'll soon wish he never set foot in here. The place is immediately unwelcoming. Dude, look at it. Oh, yo, there's bumblebees everywhere. Yeah. Some of these guys are alive. Oh, oh I just got stung by something. Really? Something just bit me. <laughs> I don't think it was a bee. Something felt like, like it grabbed me. Yeah. Wait, Something just grabbed me there. What the f Dude, I got scratched last time. In the barn, they get truly creepy vibes. Man, this reminds me of like every horror movie. Like running from like a madman with a chainsaw. Like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre dude. Through a barn. And they soon find their feelings are warranted. All night long. SLS didn't really get anything, but. Yo! What the f? <laughs> Something was walking upstairs, but what? Although they can't see it, it seems that the demon is here with them. It was above us. We were, we're somewhere, we were somewhere below here. No, actually, dude, something went up there. Something just opened that, like literally something just opened that door. As Mo realizes there's something present, he becomes very ill without explanation. You okay? As it turns out, he felt something choke him. Was it the demon? I don't think there's any other explanation. This paranormal entity is powerful and apparently quite aggressive. There's nothing more uncanny than wax figures. YouTube team Paranormal Voyages investigates the famous Madame Tussauds in Las Vegas and what they find may not be wax at all. While touring the place at night, this unsettling EVP is heard. To me, that sounds mechanical, but then this happens. Did you stop the video recorder? Perhaps some of these wax figures are coming to life and they do not wish to be filmed. In the darkness, they somehow appear even creepier. They keep interfering with the team's devices, this time sending a clear message. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm out of there. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by ImpressiveMany4743, this Redditor wrote, We are not alone. The Redditor says they filmed this on their way home. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Was out here today. And seeing these stars formed up. I don't know what the hell they are. Look, a perfect triangle. And they're slowly disappearing. Are those two lights a part of a much larger aircraft? I don't know for sure, but I do know that if I saw this on my way home, I'd be nothing short of terrified. TikToker Smug Puppy is fending off shadow figures again, and these figures have now developed glowing red eyes. They're sneaky and fast, so watch closely. Uh, this one. No, other side, door. That one? No, the door, bedroom door. Oh. With the, um... Oh. 
There's literally no space there, so... Okay. Keys! Oh my... They show viewers that there's nothing behind the door. Nothing there. Just open the door and show you them behind. It's just dressing gown. Yeah. Nothing's there, at least nothing that she can see, but a moment later, this happens. Put the camera back on there, point it back. I'm just kidding. Ah! Ah! There it is. Oh, f sake. I told you. Oh. She has a number of bruises on her legs, allegedly caused by these shadow figures. Show the other leg. I don't think you can see them on the camera. It's but some in the comments are in doubt that this is real. Others are not so skeptical. All I can say is, if this is real, I don't think I'd be approaching that room until the demon's been exercised. Only then would I feel safe in this room. The Stroud House in Wake Forest is haunted by a shadow figure. YouTube team Just Ghouly Things believes they've captured this figure on camera. Watch closely. Becca enters the kitchen. That's the first shadow you see, but they've also captured a second, much taller one. I can't tell if this figure is just Becca retreating and just blocking the light differently. The figure does seem abnormally tall. But if it is a shadow figure, I think these ghouls better watch out. Things won't end well for them. While at Woodlawn's jail, YouTube team Blue Line Paranormal finds they are not welcome. The other two individuals in the video are Kay and Andre Salazar. Kay and Gage Mansfield were the ones filming this interaction. The team tells the spirits they're going to leave, and they respond. Hey, we're leaving. Whoa. Wait, you hear that? That's the rim pod. It's jail cell. Yeah, I hear that. Holy A rem pod goes off in the jail cell. They go to check it out. Look at that. And nobody has walked through here or anything. Ooh. And it hasn't been off. It's been sitting there. Yeah, it's been sitting there. It's been quiet all night. For a while, yeah. This goes on for a long while, and the REM pod's response intensifies. Wow. Sounds like a police siren. Yeah. It's getting more intense. The spirit triggers it so much that it kills the REM pod entirely. No, it's dead. That is completely dead. <laughs> With this degree of response, I'm not sure whether the spirits wanted them to leave or were protesting their departure. Either way, they sure seem to be reacting excessively. This is an estate session gone wrong. YouTube team outsider Paranormal SWPA awakens something in the Denny house that they'll soon wish would go back to sleep. First, some loud banging. So you're an old man? Tell him. The truck. What's up, my truck? And one more. You are. And he will tell us. As one of the team checks to see what's going on in the kitchen, this happens. Someone just walked by me. What the fuck? What the Oh, dude, it's a ghost. And then a door alarm goes off. Dude, what? Take your stuff off. What? Take your stuff off. What the f That was upstairs. Do you hear that? Did the, work thing? the door thing just yeah. went off upstairs. When they attempt to enter the kitchen, this happens. Stick your hand out and walk through the kitchen. Why? It's 
blocked. <laughs> oh my! God. We can't. We can't hear stuff. And soon they discover what's blocking it. That table. How did it get like that? According to the team, there were no footprints in the snow outside the entry door, and they also checked with the neighbors to see if they'd seen anyone, but nobody had. So, who tried to block their exit? I think a spirit blocked them in. And if so, they may have had even more nefarious intentions than what was captured here. A little boy ghost is apparently haunting the Disappointments Room at the historic Jefferson Hotel. The official YouTube channel for the hotel shares this footage, captured on security camera. I'll let the hotel's manager explain. I'm telling the spirits, you know, right here. I'm leaving to show themselves. We're doing a little investigation up here in what we call the... He is seen taking a photo in the room, and this is the result. In question, if you look in the center of your screen, what I see is a little boy with a jacket uh, staring at me. I'm going to show you a series of photos, and let me show you the enhanced version right there. Do you see what he's seeing? I do, and now I'm wondering how this boy passed away and why he haunts the Disappointments Room. This mysterious figure warrants even further digging into the Jefferson's storied history. YouTube team Ghost Theory investigates the centuries-old mansion and care home, Uphill Grange in the UK. As they ask the spirits to show their presence, they almost instantly get a response. That was pretty instant, if that, that was... was... two knocks, yeah? Yeah, it was like glass. And the knocks continue... Did you hear the knock? Yeah. There was a knock. Down a dark hallway, they hear another unexplained noise. It sounds like someone is there. On the stairs, they hear more thuds and bumps. Well, there was no obvious paranormal activity in this haunted mansion, I do feel something is here. The phantoms are creeping around the place, like they're in the walls. This haunted exorcist house is no joke. The YouTube team, Dark Arts TV, ventures inside this dark place in an attempt to shed light on its truth. Whoa, I just see Whoa, what the... What was it? It's a, a second anomaly just... Yeah, what was that? Did you see that just there? It went, it, it what, went like, it went, like, like... and it went... Well, I didn't see what they saw. There is a strange shadow anomaly that passes upward as they describe it. Here it is. Slow down. Watch carefully. It doesn't sync with their own movement, so I assume it's not their shadow. Is it a shadow figure? I think it could be. Or maybe it's the shadow of an evil entity. Next time you're in nature, take a closer look at your camera roll. You might just catch a forest spirit. Redditor I like Toby Maguire says that he thinks Bro wants to say hi in this pic captured at the forest's edge in North Carolina. Do you see it? Look closer. Many in the comments think the spooky face is either photoshopped or is pareidolia. While I could definitely see this being edited, I also think it's possible that it's a bubble floating past, or it could just be the newest, creepiest, scary movie villain. If this photo is real, I'd be staying far away from that forest. What would you do if you heard a laugh like the Joker while home alone?
Redditor Pocky Shields says he captured this on video right before running to his car. I don't know what the f that noise is, but it keeps happening. If you didn't hear it now, it happens again at the end of the clip. Ooh, no, 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 no. That is the creepiest thing I've ever heard. It almost sounds to me like laughter from a creepy child's toy, but many in the comments think it can be explained. Ooh, no, no, no. Owl or not, I think that laughter is nightmare fuel. When you're a paranormal investigator, sometimes entities attach themselves to you, so watch your back. The YouTube team Spirit Stalkers were followed home by a demon. While in this haunted prison, they start hearing things. As you do it right now, loud! Bro, what? Oh my Are you serious? Did you hear that? Oh, yes, I did. What the f a little later, they hear something even louder. What the f is that? Was that a firework or? That was way too loud. That was dude. right above me, dude. They ask the spirit if it knows one of the team members. Yeah, you know, do you know Jake already? If you do, can you make a noise or make an equipment go off? Oh, oh my, my God. God. bro! Wow. Oh my. Oh Why is it me? Later, while using the Connect app, they receive a message from the unseen. Help me. Help me. Oh my. Who's asking for help? What? This is insane right now. Are you are you the cop? He tries to communicate with the spirits, and then the REM pod is triggered. Oh my I literally just saw something in front of me and then the REM pod goes off! Oh my David, is that you? And then it stops. But in the end, they feel that whatever is here has attached itself to Jake. And it involved you. It involved Jacob Bruce from Bruce Nash. Seriously, though. I almost made us leave. It was so terrifying and so disturbing. I almost pulled us out of the investigation. It would have been a first. Dude, something here does not like you. Do spirits dislike specific people? I'm sure they do. There's probably something in Jake's own spirit that is too pure for them. This ghost is a trickster. A Spanish YouTube channel shares this security footage that appears to show the ghost of Jim from the office in rare form. Watch the chair. It looks like something invisible pulled the chair right out from under the guy. Take another look. Did this phantom trickster just pull a fast one? Or as some YouTubers suggest in the comments, did the man accidentally kick the chair out from under himself with his right heel? I think we need a recreation of the incident to know for sure. This mausoleum of sorts has been abandoned, and the YouTube team, beyond the grave, ventures inside to investigate. While there, they capture this incredible EVP through a spirit communication device. I'm hoping you guys are seeing all this. My body's around here. That's entirely too spot on to be dismissed. The spirit confirms that her body is amongst these coffins. Let's hear it one more time. I'm hoping you guys are seeing all this. My body's around here. 
I understand why her body's here, but why is her spirit lingering nearby? I think she is having a hard time letting go of the corporeal world. Abandoned prisons lock up the souls of true evil forever. YouTuber Jade of Ghost Club Paranormal teams up with Hollywood paranormal detectives to investigate the Nevada State Prison. As the crew rounds a corner, they immediately feel frightened. That wasn't the door. Maybe there's something following us. When they enter death row, a voice can be heard on one of their cameras. That's too creepy. Here it is again. What? <laughs> As they continue through the prison, they pick up more EVPs. Right. Right. Did you hear that? Yes. And a moment later, this happens. I didn't know where it was, but it was very muffled. It almost said. Muffled. It almost said. Muffled. Although the team says this is a disembodied voice, it sounds like a doll's voice to me. A moment later, their REM pod device goes off and they capture yet another EVP. I wonder who Archibald is. There seems to be plenty of activity in this prison, so I have no doubt that whoever he is, he's still here. It's a live YouTube channel Scary Station features this strange creature that frankly looks to me like a human head. It looks like a head until it does this. Even if these guys poked and prodded the thing all night, I don't think we'd be any closer to knowing what it is. All I know for sure is, it's giving me the chills. Did this TikTok user capture a giant in the wild? Or is it just forced perspective? Shared by TikToker, this is what happens next. The video's original source is El Demonador de Sumizas. The TikToker spotted this abnormally large figure on a nearby hilltop. According to scale, the figure would have to be about seven to nine feet tall. It also appears to be floating at times. The semi-trucks passing by gives us a clearer idea of how giant this distant figure must be. Viewers were initially not totally convinced that this thing was a living being. That is, until the OP posted a second video where you can indeed see it moving. Some in the comments say this could be an optical illusion. Others say that it's either balloons or green screen. Then, of course, there are the people who claim another person who posted video footage about a giant met an unknown fate.
So green screen balloons, mountain specter, or a real live giant? My vote is giant, but I guess we'll have to see if the OP disappears to finally find out the truth. Hopefully it doesn't come to that to get some answers though. Ever heard of the legend of the woman in the black dress? Neither had I until I saw the YouTube team. Cazadores de Sombras investigate it. According to legend, the woman appears to men who have committed some moral transgression. Let's see if these men have. Tem alguma entidade aqui? Nossa senhora! Que isso? Ô oh, galera, vocês ouviram isso? Vocês ouviram? Something is in this haunted house with him, and it's feeding off his fear. Quem fez isso? Tem alguém aqui? The being in the doorway appears like a scratchy, dark shadow figure. After fleeing from it, for some reason, he re enters the house. And you can hear it's still there. Yuri? Oh, man, tá brincando, man? Onde você tá? Onde você tá, man? Oh, Yuri. Que isso, que isso? As I mentioned, according to legend, this woman appears to men who have committed some moral transgression. But then, does that mean her appearance to this team implies they have? That's certainly chilling to think about. While walking a wooded trail near their house, Redditor Angel of Souls 25 hears a strange sound. Listen closely. Do you hear it? They believe it sounds like a siren of some sort. And to add to the creepiness, according to the Redditor, a group of crows converged shortly after. Many in the comments don't think it's necessarily paranormal though. I think this Redditor is probably right. But without knowing the natural explanation, seeing crows descend after hearing this would amplify the creepy factor by at least 10 times. Will this make you a believer? Redditor Lowbeam is a self-admitted skeptic, but couldn't help but be in awe at what appeared on their grandpa's security camera on the morning he went in for heart surgery. The little halo radiates downward before floating back up again. It reappears later and moves toward the kitchen. Some on Reddit are doubtful it's a spirit or anything paranormal. But others are more apt to believe. Well, I think it could be a reflection of something, like a wind chime. The Redditor said it only lasted over a 25 minute span, so that seems even stranger to me. Personally, I hope it's a helpful presence that might bring the Redditor's grandpa peace of mind. Everyone must meet their demise when their time comes. Shared by YouTube channel Paranormal Man, this video is trending in the Japanese speaking YouTube community. Its original source is from a TikToker. Captured inside a hospital, the video leaves viewers wondering if this figure is what leads us to the other side. While well, some think this may be the Angel of Death, others are considering the Grim Reaper or some other cruel entity.
The figure leers over the patient, still in silence. Will it help him cross over? If this is what leads you into the afterlife, then I feel rightfully terrified. The former battleground of Gettysburg is bound to be haunted. By the good or the bad though, no one can be sure. Except for YouTube team The Paranormal Files who may have found the answer. As their investigation begins, they sense something moving. That's not me moving, dude. I wasn't even, did you see that? I wasn't even moving. Once they settle in, they hear distinct footsteps. You saw a person walking outside. I saw someone walk by this window. And again. <gasps> There's somebody in here with us. No, no joke. They soon learn they're dealing with a child ghost. Are you a man? Child. Child. Every time oh. something happens. <laughs> child. Oh my God. child sitting in the circle now? A loud knocking is heard. Okay. Oh. What, what the, the f was that? They re-enter this room and are merrily greeted. We're back, everybody. They delivered a message while using the Estes method. Skeleton people. Oh, oh, a voice just said, give up. Like right Continuing in their search, they hear something more sinister. Are you in this room? Bro. What? I just heard a hiss from this room over here. Are you in this room? Bro. As the steady cam keeps rolling, it captures something eerie. The lamp next to me keeps flickering. What? The lamp next to me keeps flickering. No. And I'm hearing footsteps behind me. Note that this happens as Connor is singing, This Little Light of Mine, not long after, the camera battery runs out. 60. No way that just died. No way that that just died that's that was a that battery had over two hours when i just brought that in as they let their imaginations run wild another noise is heard i'm just imagining that little doll comes running in here tackles you that cabinet's giving me bad vibes they wonder about this strange sign on one of the chairs with the chair is this like an evil chair obviously it's something not long after connor is marked by the devil you have a huge scratch dude right here that's exactly where it is yo bro this is crazy it's ele it's 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 um and it feels like it's welts bro it's welts bro it's not it's not like you scratched yourself, it's like straight up like raised skin. Although I want to believe that this crew is safe, this isn't a good sign. Hopefully Connor hasn't faced off with a demon on the Gettysburg battlefield. How close can you get to a witch without her possessing you? YouTuber Chamos shares this video of a night he'll never forget. As they approach this remote home at night, they see something. Where is the house? In the house? In the house? For some reason, Chamos and his partner get out of the vehicle and approach the creature before they quickly realize they don't want to get any closer. Oi! Hey! 
but they realize they don't want to get any closer, and after zooming in, you can see why. I don't know if that's a witch, but I wouldn't want to get close enough to find out. On the way out of the forest, they spot the creature again. <laughs> what is this thing? Witch or not, nothing human has this eye shine. So I am sure it's something to fear. This house has the hand of the devil on it. YouTube team HD Adam investigates the creepy place, and hopefully they won't be touched by it. As they search the empty place, loud bangs and creepy whispers are heard. I don't think that voice was the cameraman, and as they continue through the home, that becomes more apparent. <laughs> Upstairs, things start to get creepier. With sounds coming from all around you, they grow nervous. Ifrit! Allah! There's something inside this thing. And I wouldn't want it to get out, but maybe it's gotten out already. That was a hand waving from the beyond. Is it the hand of the devil? These guys think so, and it's not going to let them leave. Would you expect mercy at the hands of the devil? Me neither. That's why I'd get out while I still can, if that's even an option at this point. After renting a Verbo for the weekend, YouTube team FV family winds up in this creepy cabin in the woods, and that's when things get real. They find a hole in the wall that may be there for nefarious purposes. That's like perfect for a spy camera. What do you think? What is this all about? And does it tie in with the possible secret entrance that they find in this cryptic room? Entrance way. Oh, heck no. I'm not sure, but things aren't adding up here, and this is looking like the BNB &B I don't want to stay at. This mysterious footage was submitted to YouTube channel Fourth Wall. In it, a man is sleeping when this happens. A noise later wakes the man up. After a month of experiencing this poltergeist, its activity increases. This was captured while the man was at his office. After a while, the man's behavior becomes erratic, 
and he starts seeing what he calls a little girl ghost. Is this man being haunted? It looks to me like he very much is, and I believe he won't be the same ever again. Be sure to check out Fourth Wall's channel. All of their videos have English subtitles. A water demon is lurking near a river, and we don't know what its intentions are. YouTuber Ghost23 shares this mysterious video. The figure looks oddly sinister, standing only in shadow. It appears to me to be the size and shape of a child, which makes it all the more creepy. After a moment, it moves away and out of sight. Another sighting in the area is captured from the foot of the falls. Watch for the pale figure rising out of the foliage. Here it is again. I'm not sure where this video was captured or what these figures might be, but they give off an inhuman vibe to me. What do you think is going on here? Is this a chupacabra? YouTube channel Getting Spooky shares this creepy video of a strange creature seeming to feed off of a goat. Keep an eye on the goat's underbelly. Man. What is that? The guys try to chase it down, but it eludes them. But then it detaches and slithers away. Some in the comments say this is what's called a hantu air, a water ghost found in Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. I believe it. The way it looks and moves is too unusual to be any type of animal. 